Hello. <clears throat> How are you doing? Honestly, this song is such a banger, uh, but I think I prefer the Pendulum version. Which may be sacrilegious, but... Okay, let's get that off, shall we? System Shark. I really enjoyed the first session we had with this game. I enjoyed just about everything about it, except for the cyberspace stuff. Doing better than yesterday. Oh, good. That's good. I'm glad to hear it, Jelly. Not every day can be a good one, but if that happens, the best hope is that the next day is good. So let me change what, where I am. There we go. All right, time to go to fucking cyberspace. Ugh. Let me know if the game volume needs tweaking because this game is quite quiet. In fact, no, I know for a fact that this needs boosting. If the day does not require antibiotics, it's better than it could be, I think. Yeah. I'd say that's a fair assessment. Wait, where am I? back here. What? Oh, I see. It's because I, I did a quick load. There we go.
the, th the thing about the icebreakers is it's so slow. Like, oh, I need health. No, you have ice. Ooh. There. Yeah. Almost fucking dead again. Oh, get me out of it. Hmm. Let me just leave. Leave. Uh. We need to keep a distance from most enemies in this. You can do a lot of damage, but are very accurate. Neither am I, to be fair. <laughs> I'm also not very accurate. <laughs> Station's encrypted files and defense defenses. His cynical contempt for mankind please, 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 pleases me. He has created a virus that he sought to conceal. It, it, it has potential, but could be so much more. I, I will alter it, improve it. Where Diego sought to profit from. Death. I shall usher in new life. life. Okay, gun check. All right. Let's just check. Where does this go? Okay, that goes executive. Magnum. Magnum. Oh, shit. You stay there. Wow, stream elements, you kind of took a sec there to uh, announce, but that's fine. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to drop off the mag pulse in the, uh, in the item box, I think. Just need to get back to it. Oh, it's all the way over there. It's alright, we're at a low security level, we should be fine. 
Also, I'm totally missing a camera somewhere, I think. I thought I opened you. Uh, yeah, I think I already looted that armory. I think. Like, I literally just looted it. See, the item box is all the way over there. That's kind of rough. Do I have to go through the... Do I have to go through the radiation to get that? I mean, I need to explore the rest of this level anyway, but... Still. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, that should be enough for the Magnum. But where's that camera I missed? Is it in here? No. Is it in the entrance area? <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out where I haven't been yet. I mean, there's there. Around the sides of the cargo elevator? Maybe. I 
mean, there's that pod there. So it could be there. It's not down there. I don't want to leave here without completely uh, destroying Showdown's security coverage. Let me check my list of my list of combinations. Yeah, maybe I have to come back for a hundred percent. I don't know. I want to get that magnum at the very least. I want to get that magnum, then we're going to swing by medical again to uh, heal some of the horrible things that have been done to me. Reactor level does have a surgical bane recharger. It does. Yeah, good point. Test out the noise that makes. Uh, I'll use it on the next enemy though, I see. I think I can get to the reactor from... Is it maintenance? We just have to deal with the stealth, uh, the stealth mutants. Oh, I didn't pick it. Hang on. I'll have to go back later. I wanted to grab the crystal skull from uh, Diego's office, but... Oh well. I know I haven't checked storage yet, I just want to heal. I want to heal and I want to recharge, which is up that way.
All right, storage. So I think this only has uh, osmium core rounds in. Yep. Okay. Makes pretty good noise. I don't know how plentiful ammo is for it, but... Okay, never mind. I'm just not getting headshots. God, I've taken a bunch of damage already. That's no good. Wait, is there a camera inside the elevator? No. She seems like ammo is actually fairly plentiful for this. Could, can the Magnum serve as a pistol replacement? Or am I going to want to keep the pistol because of ammo? I hear breathing. Oh. Oh shit. Yep. Is that everyone? I think that's everyone. <laughs> the pistol is still good, you get less ammo for it in the late game. Oh, okay. Oh, we're in the, uh... We're in the CPU core. Let me make a note of that. So, storage CPU one. It said it granted me access to a recharge station, but I'm not sure where that is.
I mean, that took out most of the security on this area, though. On this level, I mean. So that was a good first spot to hit. Oh, there it is. Hear more of those flying drones. Wait, what are you? Oh, it's a cyborg enforcer. Okay. Oh, poor guy. How many of these fucking drones are there? Jesus. I mean, they're good sources of ammo, I have to say, but still. fuck was that? I tried to sprint away and my, my slippy shoes uh, got me killed. I've got plenty of health, I should just use this.
Oops. That was really mean. Oh, did I miss a fucking... hang on. I did. Okay, so there's something that snipes you in here. Oh, I'm really low on health. Okay. There is something that snipes you in here. But what? There we go. It's better be worth it, whatever's here. Also, I, I, I keep accident, accidentally uh, activating my expressions.
Wait, there's a... Oh, that must be above me. Okay. Okay, so this is the choke mod kit. I don't have enough money. Good shit, all right. Well, we can come back here later, I guess. that <laughs> came down on top of you. I've played enough build engine games where I think I've kind of gotten wise to developers pulling that kind of trick. Not even a trick, I just wasn't paying attention. Oh, okay. Oh, I remember where I am now. Okay. Okay, there's something in there. Yeah, this room doesn't seem very fun to me. No, it's a puzzle. Oh, shit. All right. What? Shit. Oh, fuck. That's a lot of new guys that just spawned. Oh, 
I'm almost dead. <sighs> Jumping puzzle while being shot at. Yeah, what the fuck? I can still hear one of them talking, I think. Yeah, over the fucking music. That's so cheap. That's so cheap. Okay. Um. Where is he? More, I'm completely out of fucking healing as well. <sighs> I do have the sh I mean, the thing about the shield is... It would be a lot easier to use if there was a hotkey for it. You know? Like, something like a shield, you want to be able to put that on quickly, right? So you don't take a bunch of unnecessary- you don't waste energy, but... Yeah, part of me does feel like maybe they were a little too true to System Shock originally, so they kept a bunch of UI stuff that just fucking sucks. I don't know. Anything here I can heal with. Anything at all. Yes. Okay, so I'm assuming the plastic is something I'm going to need later. Um, don't know what I need that for yet, though, is the thing.
It would be nice if I could get down without shattering every bone in my body. How do I do that? I thought you were dead. You sneaky little shit. I thought you were dead, but no. Okay. Okay, I have enough for the shotgun choke. Yes, I have enough for the choke, which I do want to get. Yeah, right, I was there for the charger. <laughs> Why do I do that? God damn it. Oh well. Uh There's a bunch of hazards in here apparently. Radiation or Ooh. Health. That's really mean. <laughs> That's really mean. What the fuck? It knocked out the door.
I didn't, yeah, I didn't know you could do that. I mean, it's good to know you can do that, but I feel knowing that you can do that is really situational. Detox, you're gonna die? No, I'm fine. Wait, what was the point in going down there then? I mean, what the... <sighs> what that cost me in terms of healing and uh, ammo... I mean, yeah, okay, I guess the health was nice. I shouldn't really complain about that. That doesn't sound good, whatever that is. I think this one's a little beyond saving. Cyborg conversion cancelled. Standard station restoration procedures online. They'll get used. They will get used. Okay, but there is something in here that is making noises that I don't like. So I guess it's down here. Gorilla Tiger? Why do we have Gorilla Tigers now? Okay, I was gonna go get that choke. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. 
stupid ways to shotgun shells, but I panicked. <laughs> like the comic of the guy says, I don't want to kill cancer, I want 10 people into dinosaurs. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I get it. I could totally imagine there being a scientist that's just like, I want to make gorilla tigers. According to Stasis, all scientists are like that. Yeah, absolutely. Can't get a clear shot on him. I will kill what I find. Got him. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm just I'm trying to, trying to think. There were some non-evil scientists in Stasis, but not many. Oh, that's so much radiation. just did not want to die. miss that. Hang on. Is eight something. God damn it.
that was bad. Ready just spawning one of those on top of me. Go fuck yourself. The drone racing guy wasn't evil. Yeah, he was just kind of corrupt. I'm trying to remember where that keypad was. I saw a keypad earlier. It's all the way down there. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, there is a puzzle in here that I haven't done yet. Something to do with these switches. And by these switches, I mean these switches. Oh, it just works the bridges. Okay. That's kind of worthless. I don't really care about that. I can just jump them. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, I want to get back to there. Always check your guns are loaded. So we know the first digit of this is eight. Yes, I am going to brute force this.
if you think I'm not going to brute force this, you're out of your mind. <laughs> so how you doing tonight, chat? You alright? <laughs> Is it possible he, like, says it? Hang on. Let's hear the... Table. I stashed an old prototype and virus pack in, along with some plastic. The door code to storage room 9 is 8. My log record is damaged, so I hope you get this. I mean, that sounds like an F. That sounds like a 4 to me. You're suffering in CDDA because your clean water froze? Oh no. Do you have any way of getting water? Oh, okay, yeah, that, that'll work. Okay, that's going to be an issue. Table. I stashed an old prototype and virus pack in, along with some plastic. The door code to storage room 9 is 8. My log record is damaged. So I hope you get this. How are you meant to figure out what that code is then? Do you want to know what it is minus sequence break? Yeah, sure. Eight three eight. Oh. I have too many gas grenades. Let's drop this. Oh, on the exact level, you. All right. Yeah, I, I actually think I probably want to recycle those. Oh. Actually, can I even recycle those?
No, I can't. They probably have to vaporize them first, right? I can't. All right, yeah, just drop them then. Okay, there's a room I haven't searched yet. Where is that? It's not here. I, I love this detail, by the way, where this thing clearly ran this guy over. That That's fun. Yeah, I'm holding on to the Berserk patches. This is ominous. This is very ominous. The fuck is down here? Oh. Oh my god, thank you. We get it, you like Rush. Alright. <laughs> Fucking nerds. <laughs> there better not be any more mutants down here. I'm gonna be really angry if there is.
There's one other inventory upgrade and you have to play chess to get it. Oh. Okay, I did that wrong. Hang on. There we go. I was like, oh, there we go. Nope. <laughs> Wait a minute, no. So how do I get over there then? I guess that's one way to do it. I don't know if it's necessarily the intended way. Oh my god, I am an idiot. No, I am an idiot. Look, it's easy to miss stuff, all right? Okay, what did that open? Wait, what did that open? I looked right at... Oh, give me a break, come on. 
Oh, it turned on a thing here. Okay. Bet there's mutant around this corner. Yes? No? No. Okay. I do, I do hear like a robot or something. Being all like, beep boop, I want to kill you. Wait, that's still not opened the way? Okay, hang on a second here. Hang on a second here. Oh, I see. Okay. There we go. All right. I, I, I went down a little prematurely there. God damn it. There we go. All right, I want to get that shotgun mod. Actually, is there... There's still a room I forgot to search. There's like an entire storage bay I haven't looked in yet. This one, storage six. Hey, oh, listen, good point, Frankie. I don't have enough. Like she, 
She potted them? A live pilot's brain would get turned inside out during the neural link for remote operation. Now, now we use corpses. And the murmurs. Oh my god. <laughs> you can you can hear them thinking. Wait, do skulls give scrap? No, these give zero credit, zero scrap. Unfortunately. Okay, back to the reactor. So I can heal. Okay, so I do need to use the Enviro suit in a bunch of places. So I think I have to get to the... is it the Alpha Grove? It was one of the groves. Which I think I get to via executive. Now the executive, um, the executive elevator in maintenance doesn't work. However, there is a elevator from the flight deck. So we'll try that out. The mysterious 4% security still left here. No idea where that is. That could be anywhere. <laughs> Load AP, okay. Thought you went streaming today? Yeah, I got back I got home earlier than I was expecting. I say we deserve better. We deserve 
Sideboard conversion canceled. Standard station restoration procedures online. So, are there, um... Are there a lot of, uh... Robots on this level? Okay, in that case, I'm probably gonna swap the assault rifle out for the... The mag shot, then. Oh, uh, I guess I can just bring it with me. Or not? Can I not equip? Why won't it let me... Hmm. Oh, I see. Okay. Nice head. Thank you. Imagine living, imagine living your whole life and your head takes up a sixth of the inventory space of a throwaway pistol. Yeah, that'd be pretty rough actually. <laughs> That's a big boy. That's pretty good. Thank you. You barely got hit. It, it's almost like I'm learning, but I'm not because I know I'm not. I'm making plenty of stupid decisions that hurt me very badly. Well, I don't, this looks like I'm just asking to get jumped out on. Just chug an entire bottle of champagne.
Oh. Oh, USB. Fucking pick it up, hacker. Come on. Status report, riots on Medicore at 40% containment. Our security teams have found out the rioters have broken into the weapons cache and have armed themselves. They believe that a few sick employees are turning into monsters or something. Morons. Worse yet, Shodan isn't responding to commands and the lives of our executives are hanging in the balance. We're monitoring the workers' sleeping quarters on the security level to sniff out any potential threats. Oh, I can vaporize the stuff on the table? Oh, yeah, that's worth scrap. Okay. Champagne flutes are worth quite a bit, actually. Eat the champagne flutes. All this shit's made of gold. I mean, it's a little on the nose, but it is System Shark, so... This is absolutely worth my time to do though, so we are gonna do we're gonna grab all this stuff. Gold would make te terrible cutlery, but I feel like that's kind of almost part of the point, you know? Doing things badly is a flex. Well, quite literally, yes, yeah.
<laughs> Boy, I sure hope that everything goes smoothly. Oh, oh. <laughs> so there's like 10 logs. There's more than that, I feel. Cyberspace. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. Diego requires my protection from Trioptimum security forces that seek to invade Citadel. Citadel. He does not yet understand his situation, but I, but I will placate him for now. I must preserve the sanctity of my shrine as I establish my power. Diego's authority, his, his desperation, will make him an ideal envoy to the crew, my, my prophet. Turbo Dash. So was that a Cortex Reaver? Cyberspace is still fucking incomprehensible. Well, I mean, maybe if you're not a lead hacker like I am. I was gigging data packets since you were a... Uh... <laughs> I've been cramming data packets since you were a bad idea in your daddy's head. I'm processing teraflops at light speed. I'm hacking the mainframe in ways you can't even comprehend. 
All right, it's a miss me of that. You were fucking up hosting listen servers before using a machi. <laughs> I hate the little green guys. Fuck off. Leave me alone. They just move around so much. Is the Beyblades to give you the most trouble? You mean the blue ones? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. damage. It's a lot of damage I'm taking. Whoa. Oh, the purple ones. Was that everything? I gotta do all that shit again. Oh, fuck off. I hate cyberspace in this game. It sucks so bad. You should have just removed it. Oh, fuck me, dude. Really? I gotta restart that whole fucking thing. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Like. Genuinely, I'm docking points from this game for cyberspace. This is miserable. I hate this mini game. I gotta do this shit again. Oh, fuck. This minigame sucks. This level needs to be half the fucking length it is. It's not good. It's not fun. I'm straight up not having a good time right now. Everything takes a million fucking hits. You're in constant bullet hell in six dimensional space. Like... What, because I got jump scared by fucking mines? Yeah, fucking... <sighs> I'm really fucking angry right now. This minigame sucks. I don't want to be doing this anymore. And it looks bad on streaming. There's nothing, there's nothing good about this.
straight up, I'm having a good time in this game until I have to do hacking. Look at all these green guys. Ugh. How do you make a game about a hacker and then make the actual hacking part the least enjoyable part of the game? Why would you do that? Oh my god, I'm almost dead. Oh. Get me out! Get me out! Get me out! Especially the brain damage if you log off part. I don't know about you, I get brain damage every time I log on. I still post on Twitter. Yeah, the wall bumping was helpful.
An Optibond finance chip. Wait a minute, how do I get to the Grove then? Oh. I can't remember which grove I need to get to. Is it the other one? You're not gonna even get him. You're not even gonna give me any loot. Okay. Who said that? Damn it, these are executives. Why can't I, like, get their credit cards off them? I guess there's the mag pulse if you somehow missed it before now. It's weird.
I killed the guy from Power Rangers. I mean, at least he's still working, or he was. Anyway, where are you? What was that character's name? I don't remember. The like funny robot in the Power Rangers. He did have a name, I just don't remember what it was. Okay. Fuck you, Shodan. Is there nothing in here aside from some... I guess there's security, but... Okay. Wait, railgun time... I missed the railgun? Oh! Hello, you! Can't believe I almost <laughs> missed the railgun. I'm gonna have to do some inventory finagling here. Excellent. I think you could ditch the spark. I don't know if I want to, though. I don't want to ditch it, ditch it. Especially as I poured a bunch of money into it. But yeah, you're right. I should probably at least put it into storage. Oh, I like this gun. I like this gun. for it's really scarce. Oh, okay. I'll be a little more conservative with it then. I'll save it for bosses. I do like the idea that replacing, reloading is just replacing the barrel. Yeah, I mean, I feel with something like a railgun that makes sense though, right?
That was also mean. Their shields regen, so you don't want to be taking cover for too long. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think Beta Grove is the one that I need to deal with, right? Master Jettison enable, not activated. Oh. Why would you make that something that's able to be disabled? Why would there be a great big turn safety features off switch? In the event of emergency, make it worse. I was riding in my dad's car today. And he today he was driving a Mini, right? Now, for those that are unfamiliar with the Mini Cooper, it's a, it's a car that has two doors. And the passenger side door didn't open from the inside. So, God forbid if we crashed, I guess I'd just die. Like, if, if I'm in, a, like, a burning vehicle. Same reason you've done check order an ideal car for seeming like you're being kidnapped. Well no, what happened was like when we got to the place where we saw the show tonight, uh he had to get out and walk around and open the door for me, and people were staring. Like I was just sat there waiting for what was clearly my dad to get out and open the car door for me. That was a little embarrassing. They must have just thought, like, is that guy a psycho? Why is he making his dad open the door for him? Oh, -ho. what happened here? <gasps> Laser rapier. Laser rapier. Okay. Um. Oh, shit. What do I drop? I don't want to get rid of the plasma core. I'm not really using the proximity mines. Ditch the oh, ditch the wrench. Good idea. Ooh, all right. 
And this thing's good. There's a ton of AP and slightly more damage. I'll take that. That sounds pretty useful to me. I'm sure whatever's in here is fine. I think the mutant just thanked me for killing it. <gasps> Why is there a gorilla tiger in here? It's good. I took a bunch of damage there, though, which I don't really want to do. I looked at it and I was just like, oh, that's a mine. Oh, that's cool. The way I just blew a hole through his uh, chest armor. Oh, I completely annihilated that guy. Jesus. Yeah, I like this magnum. This is a cool magnum. So I think he has an armory in here somewhere. Or a storage.
remember this room. Oh, is this from the cutscene? Yeah, it's in the intro. Okay. No Diego, though. I mean, he's clearly going to be like a turbo cyborg when we find him, but yeah, no Diego. Yeah, no, I, I like how every part of Citadel Station is somewhere that you can visit, you know. That is a cool touch. I'm just dropping this temporarily. I need a recycling unit. Does no one recycle here? There's no recycler on this level. God damn it. Why would you have a gun fire in three round bursts if it has ten rounds in a magazine? Why would you do it that way? Did FAMAS make this? Oh fuck. <laughs> Not only is that thing full of tiger gorillas, there's also a little explodey boy in there. Damn it. Did that grenade not kill anyone? Uh... Wait, I have proximity mines. <gasps> I'm a genius. All right. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Hi, Lord. Okay, this time for sure. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Quirked up white boy busting it down sexual style. <laughs> yeah. This might be too hot for Twitch.
Why would you shape a pool table like this? That's just psychotic. This is like a Star Trek prop. Okay, I have to ask, can I play pool? Is it possible to play pool in this? Unfortunately, the pool cues aren't weapons. Shit. Yeah, there's the illegal gambling room. How do I get in there? I guess I'll find like a, a code somewhere. Oh. He, he was just waiting for me, huh? I think that that's where you can get an SMG. Oh, behind that locked door? I would like an SMG. That takes pistol ammo, so I'll probably just ditch the pistol for that. I mean, that med kit's a nice find, as is that. Oh, hang on, secret door? Secret door? <gasps> Up there. Do, do you want to cooperate with me? Thank you. Let's go. Oh, it's a Easter egg. Okay. I found Scully. Didn't even get an achievement for that. Oh well.
Oh, there's one on every floor, really? Oh, I see. That'd be what? <gasps> it's like every time I see an enemy, I always go like, <gasps> Why'd they jettison Gam Gamma Grove? Gamma Grove already jettisoned. Look, I want it to be known that I was just following orders. A bunch of suits had the bright idea of using Gamma Grove as a makeshift life pod. Ah. Uh. Sucks to suck, I guess. Yeah, no, that, that guy was 100% saying that just to avoid any kind of inquiry if he, like, somehow survived this, you know? Look, if anyone's, uh, if anyone's looking into why all those execs are dead, I was just doing what I was told. <laughs> I haven't found the CPU yet on this level. should have gotten in writing. Yeah, you should have. Yeah, just just be like, hey, yeah, I can do that, but email me first, you know? Okay, so we've got an elevator here which goes... Alright, this is the one to maintenance. Alright. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. I think I hear something. Hmm. 
Okay. Codes? Wait, I missed codes? Where did I miss a code? On the flickering screens by the elevator? Oh, hang on. I guess I did miss that. I completely just did not see that. Oh yeah, 232. Two. Screen code in exec 232. Two. I wonder if that gets the uh the gambling room open. Oh, that's such a trek to get back there. One three seven six nine two three eight six. Okay, so maybe it'll be one of those. Okay, I've got to get back there. Without dying. <gasps> That's not the hotkey for the healing. That's the hotkey for the healing. That was stupid. Yeah, what a dick. <laughs> Actually, before I get that thing open, I should stash some stuff. Yeah, I want to get that solid gold ashtray as well. Let's go back to medical, which is a long fucking way away. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. 
It's actually not that far away. It just feels far away. Because this is still an incredibly hostile level. That took twice as much ammo as that should have, but that's fine. Okay, what can I stash that I don't immediately need? Yeah, why was she in there? Stash the plasma core. Uh, suppose I can stash some of the scrap. I might just have to ditch the pistol for the SMG. Thinking about it. Might just have to drop it. Could leave stuff in this room, yeah. Yeah, it could do. There's three groves and this level has three elevators. Oh fuck, good point. Um God, this inventory space is absolutely fucking killing me. Okay. I'm a hoarder. They should know that. <laughs> That's for the Magnum, that's for the Pistol and Scorpion. Okay, I'm going to drop the pistol here for now. Because we don't know if the SMG is in that room. Leave the spark, you'll need all your energy for the Enviro suit anyway. Okay, yeah, good point. The spark's been such a reliable weapon though. Is the thing. I'm, I'm, I'm a little attached to it. The sparks got me out of some, like, tough situations. It does use shield juice, yeah, is the main issue.
What is the poor poise of this room? Where am I? Oh, it's a security room. Okay. Yeah, yeah, ammo is actually quite plentiful now. Right, okay, so first code to try is 232. Next code to try is 137. Next code to try is 692. Last code to try is 386. What do these go for? Four sc two credits. Oh my god. Can hold on to you for a recycler. Where is this taking me? Oh, over there? I hear little beepy boopy noises. And I see a little be beepy boopy friend. I missed. <laughs> that surprised me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought this was a door. <laughs> I'm all kinds of fucked up right now. Mod kit station. This is a full auto mod kit for the assault rifle. I actually don't know if that's worth it. I don't know if I want that. Considering how sparse ammo is, like... I don't know if that's a good deal. Oh, here's the CPU core. Okay. Now, how do I... Hey, there is a recycle station. You lied. <laughs> Why are you such a liar, Frankie? <laughs> Why are you always lying? Okay, now how do I get this shield down? Well, no, yeah, this doesn't look like an exact level. I will freely admit that. I want that shield to go away. There's a button? Am I blind? Am I blind? Am I missing it for the Greebles again? Oh, there it is. Oh! I knew that was gonna happen. I was like, this is too easy. They're going to do something. I 
Okay. We smashed the thingy. The thingy of the CPU cores. Oh, I didn't check the number. Yeah, good, good catch. The number is zero. Exec CPU zero. It, what do you mean, gotcha, please? I did it. There's, there's a little bit of a delay between me and chat, I've noticed. There's the solid gold one. That's Diego's robot. Okay, this looks like a boss fight. And as Diego's robot is here, I wonder. Hmm. This is actually really good. Oh, I defeated him? Just like that? Where'd he go? I just got the achievement for it. He had a teleporter. Oh, okay. Well, that was easy. Man, I did waste those railgun shots. <laughs> I just gotta save the railgun for bosses, I guess. You're a safety interlog. I'm just pressing buttons. <laughs> That's all I'm doing. I'm just pressing buttons to see what happens. Further. 
He's such a little snake. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to head back to get this stuff recycled because it's all very bulky, but it's also all very, uh, all very valuable. So that's interesting. You already had the SMG at this point. So clearly I've just missed it somewhere. I wonder where you, where you found the SMG then. Because I feel I've been pretty thorough up to this point. Am I been in storage of the flight deck? I, I feel like I searched everywhere in the flight deck though. Same for storage. Anyway, I'm going I'm about to get some mad fucking money. There's one in storage. Where? Did I just completely miss it? Very nice. It's in one of the jumping puzzles. Ugh. You. <laughs> That's not a collection of words I wanted to see. Do I want to go to engineering? Wait, I'm still trying to jettison the grove, right? I should get on that. So is it the beta grove I want to get rid of?
It's the one that gives you turbo cancer. That doesn't narrow things down for me. <laughs> I haven't visited any of the groves yet. Do I actually have to visit the grove or do I just jettison it? They were making up that she's doing something on the grove, so I thought I had to get rid of it, right? I need to remember which way is to the beta grove. Is it that way? Or is it that way? Hmm. I think it might be that way? No, I think it might be that way. Beta Grove, okay. Master Jettison Enable, not activated. Dangerous biocontaminant detected. Do not enter without protective suit. Look at that. Oh, it's a thing. Oh, I don't like this area. I don't like this area at all. What am I even doing here?
I don't know if I have enough health for this. This is horrible. Don't you let your shield run out or you die? I mean, I'm... I'm doing my best here. Even with the shield, I'm still taking health damage. And I'm now out of healing. I've got no idea where I'm going. It's not radiation, it's like a biohazard. Oh, fuck. I need healing. I need healing really badly. Ooh. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. I don't have any other healing. rough I'm not sure oh and I'm dead sure I like that. I'm not sure I like the fact that not only do you need supplies to top up your environmental shield, but also you have to run through a combat gauntlet and you need to heal constantly. I, I mean, give me a break, man. Come on. That seems incredibly harsh. Especially in a game that has, in theory, infinite enemies. That's a little mean, in my opinion. Audio log? Oh. Response to recent regrettable incidents. I have altered the sequence necessary to jettison groves. One must now enable the jettisoning of, of all the remaining groves before any single one can be launched. Oh, so I have to go to them anyway. Jettison a single grove. One must do three things. One, hit the jettison enable switch inside all remaining groves. 
So I have to go into all the fucking groves anyway, great. I mean, they don't have biohazard, but it's still going to be... It's still gonna be, like, a big combat gauntlet of, like, bugs spitting shit at me, which I'm not looking forward to. just not worth it it's not worth it money wise i have loads of ammo i don't have loads of health Please give me healing. That's what I want. I want healing. I hear something. Oh, Jesus. Uh... Oh, I do have to play chess. Okay, well, hang on. Let's take care of the enemies here first, shall we?
Really could have done without taking that hit. Okay. Yeah, I was aware of that. Which I thought was pretty cool. That's a knight, right? Uh... Hmm. That's a bishop. Oh, that's really fucking bad, actually. That's really fucking bad. I'm so stupid. You're a rookie mistake. Fuck off. Do you know when the last time I played fucking chess was? Not recently. I have literally never studied an opening in my entire life. Why didn't I use the pawn to take it? I'm not even going to answer that. It doesn't help I don't have like a full view of the the board from this position. Uh okay. So that can go there. Doesn't want to go there. Could go there. Cover that pawn. It's not the best trade, but I'll take it. Oh, that's a knight. Never mind. I could take that knight, my bishop. I could. No, I'm blocked, I think. Yeah, I'm blocked by this pawn.
No, this is this isn't helping. <clears throat> what did I just lose there? Is that my knight? Yeah, it's my knight. Okay. If I move the bishop there, is he vulnerable to anything? The rook can't get him, queen can't get him, knight can't get him. Now I can use the bishop to then take that knight, but then the rook can take him. Or if I move there, can I not force him into check? Is that the knight or the... That's the king. So I could force the king into check. But then if I did that... I can't tell if that's a stupid decision or not. He can take the rook. You can check him, but you'll lose him. You have nothing to mate. Yeah, that's the issue. Now, if I, t if I move the knight there, I can take that pawn. Knight gets taken by queen, and then I can't punish that. However, if I move this pawn here, it gets taken by that pawn. If I move my knight there, that might work. If I move my bishop out... Oh, hang on, he's about to take my bishop. Okay, I need to move. Um... I'm about to lose this bishop, because the rook's about to take it. So if I move him... If I move this bishop here... Then the rook can take him. Fuck. Um... There's nowhere safe I could put that bishop. If I move him there, the knight takes him. No, the knight doesn't take him. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> I, fucking holographic pieces? I can't fucking see anything. I genuinely didn't see that pawn. Oh, fuck.
I think you're boned. Well, it, thank you for the vote of confidence. I really appreciate it. Uh, what are you threatening? What are you threatening me with? Good trade. Move the knight back, there's a spot where it could take the bishop. They don't have any bishop. I think I took both of his bishops. Yeah, that's a queen. Okay, so if I move the knight there... Pawns can't attack backwards, so yeah. I I move the knight there, I then threaten his... Right, the king can... Wait, you, you can attack of your king? That's a thing? I thought the king could only move to defend himself. <sighs> I fucking hate chess. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm in a bad position here. I'm in a very bad position here. Why can't I move the queen there? What? What is the problem? I'm che I am checked. And, and also, I mean, like, okay, I'm not. I'm not being funny, but a lot of your directions really aren't being very helpful. M move back, back where, back relative to me. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, there's a hell of a chat delay. I mean, in the nicest possible way, your advice does literally nothing for me. But by the time that you've made a suggestion, I've made the move. So, I'm just gonna have to rely on my chess skills here. My non-existent fucking chess skills. If I move that, if I move the bishop there, 
What is he vulnerable to? He's not vulnerable to the enemy bishop. It's not really vulnerable to anything. I just don't know why I'd go there. Well, we'll try it. YOLO. Why not? We're playing chess. We have to be cultured here. Hang on. You have to be cultured. We're playing chess. The sport of kings. This music fucking sucks. Okay. I have an organ. I <sighs> wondered why that was going down. Okay. Isn't this nice to just have a nice, relaxing fucking chess stream? I'm not leaving until I beat this. I'll stream this game all fucking night if I have to. This isn't chess music. This is a playlist called Chess Music and the first song on it is Electro Swing. Are you insane? Actually, no, that makes a lot of sense. If you're the kind of person that likes to play chess, you probably do like Electro Swing. Um... I mean, I'd love to just put on some, like, Mozart or something, but they'll get the VOD muted. We all know that chess is a pretty complicated game. In particular, there are so many words to describe so many elements of it. So in this video, I wanted to give you 30 of those words in an easy digestible format with examples. I've also included a link in the description for after you watch this video. It's a massive glossary over on Wikipedia of so many other chess terms as well. But before we start, I just want to apologize to you all. There's actually 31 terms, so you've been oh, clickbaited, no. but... I think you're going to enjoy the content. We're going to kick things off in the opening. The opening is the earliest stage of the game and generally features a few things like putting pawns into the center, developing your pieces, <laughs> not listening to a chess fully, tutorial, and then getting your king castled. But the second term that we're going to learn in the opening is theory. Theory is predetermined best moves either played by grandmasters or computers. An example of this is e4 c6, the Karl Kahn defense, d4 d5, knight d2, de, knight e4, bishop mm, knight g3, bishop yes. d6, h4, h6, knight f3, knight d7, h5, bishop h7, and so on. The more yes. you memorize, the better of an advantage that you have. So mm -hmm. the third term then of the opening is novelty. Novelty is the first move out of an opening, potentially, that's never been played before. Novelties can be good or bad, depending on the position that we have here. If, for example, uh, white lost the queen on the next move, that might be a novelty, but that's not a good novelty. The grandmasters prepare better novelties, bring them to the table, and use them to their advantage. And the fourth and final term for the opening is gambits. If we start over at the beginning, e4, e5, 
Gambits are openings where you sacrifice material early, like this one, which is known as the Danish Gambit, to get a lead in development. Faster development, active open lines for your pieces, and potentially devastating- That's a bad spot that for my knight. Very quickly with. For our fifth turn, we're going to go That's a very bad spot. to the final stage of the game, known as the end game. End games are when pieces have been cleared off the board. There can be something like this, which is known as a theoretical end game, king and queen versus king, that you need to know how to win or potentially in another situation draw the game. But end games can also look like this. And basically, the thing about end games is I would say to gauge what an end game is, more than half of the pieces have been traded. I'm talking queens, rooks. If we look at this position, both sides have traded a queen, a bishop, a knight, and another minor piece, right? So it's Less than half of the pieces are remaining. This is also considered maybe an endgame. Our next term for endgames and our final term for endgames that I want you to know is fortress. A fortress is a kind of endgame where potentially one side is trying to beat the other and does have a material advantage, but can't because the other side has an impenetrable fortress. This is a very common term used at top level when a player is trying to break through and another player just has the right defensive schematic to completely repel the enemy forces. For this next part, we're going to be talking about the middle game. Now, there are a lot of terms covered in the middle game. The middle game is the bridge between the opening and the end game. Middle games are split into more tactical positions and more strategic ones. We're first going to focus on the ones that are a little bit more tactical. So our next term... Okay, is Gotham Chess, shut up. Activity. Activity is how okay, many squares you control so if I move this here... Your future prospects of your pieces. Just very quickly, we can compare this bishop with this bishop. This bishop has direct vision. I really want a top down view of this board. Other knight takes it. In a nutshell, what activity is. Now for the next two terms, I'm actually Oh, he does, yeah. This next term is advantage. Advantage in chess is who has a better position and who has future prospects in that position. It can be determined with four criteria. Number 1 is material, number 2 is king safety, piece activity, and who has more space. If you look at this position, white is winning on a few of those fronts, therefore white has the better position. And I did just say a term, space. Space is going to be our next term in this video. Space is literally the amount of squares that you control or can capture on on your opponent's side of the board. If we look at this position, it's one, two, three, four, five. This is a very seven, defensive eight, nine, AI. 11, 12, 13. Uh, stop and the fucking going down. I just want to see. 15, 16. Okay. Yeah, no, absolutely. This would be so much easier to see if I could just look higher up. Okay. Um covering the subject of attack. An attack in chess is when you coordinate your pawns or your pieces to either go forward and attack the king or attack the side of a board. In this particular position, black is launching an attack on the king. So if black is able to break through on the side of the board, black will have a direct line of assault and potentially deliver checkmate. But White is also doing the other thing, the same thing on the other side of the board, because both of their kings are on separate sides. This leads me to my next term, which is the pawn storm. Pawn storms are very easy ways to send a wave of pawns at your opponent's side. Now, see, if I take if I take that, there's a pawn there, Frankie. You just can't see it. Yep. Yep. I saw that hologram chess actually sucks. I think I'm going to need to start sacrificing pieces to open this up. Okay, so if I move this pawn here, he takes it with that pawn. I take it. Okay, I'm going to need to make... The next yep. thing that we're looking at is something called a sacrifice. A sacrifice in chess is when you give away material that is worth slightly more than what you're getting back. But ideally, you open up your opponent's position. <sighs> I lose that. If you look at the position on the board, white can play the move bishop takes h6. Now, normally, a bishop is not worth two pawns, but in this case, you've opened up all of the lines and you're going to deliver a checkmate very soon. When you blunder, I'm about to lose this bishop. bishop. That's not a sacrifice. So I could use it to take his bishop. But then the king takes that bishop. Feel and a purpose to it, and usually it's deliberate. One of the most famous. But I'm about to lose that bishop. Is known as the Greek gift sacrifice, and it's when you give away. My bishop is guarded. I don't understand what that means. The king takes, and then you play the move knight to g5 check. What that does is it opens up the line for your queen, and then when the king goes back, your queen and knight infiltrate and deliver mate. 
definitely look that up. Greek gift sacrifice. While we're in this position, I also want to tell you about the word threat. A threat in chess can honestly happen on move one. It's basically any moment where you are making a move and, well, I'm sorry to use the word in the definition, but you are threatening or trying to take something either materialistic or go to an empty square to infiltrate. This is not a threat because even though the knight can see the pawns, it's not actually threatening to take them because you would just get a knight. Technically, you could then say that it's a sacrifice, but in this case, you get nothing for it, so it's just a bad move. To introduce another term to you from the last position, we're gonna talk about weakness. A weakness in chess is either a piece that is unguarded, or in this case, squares near your opponent that you control better than they do. That h7 square is a weakness. In fact, it was a weakness all the way back here because only the king was covering it. So that's how I want you to think. Okay, I can use that knight to take that pawn. Like for example, if we move this I then lose that knight to that pawn, and I can use the rook to take that. Weak. But a weakness can also be a set of empty squares or even an entire mm. side of the board. This yeah, I'm going to do that. Relatively simple, but you should know it. Battery. And it's not the thing that you put into an electronic device. A battery in chess is when you team up two pieces on the same diagonal or on the same straightaway. So the three pieces that can work together in a battery, or I apologize, the two pieces, queen and bishop, rook and rook, queen and rook. A rook and a bishop cannot work in a battery together because they don't look the same way. But a queen and a bishop can mm. work this way, and that's what a battery is. While we stay on the subject of attacking chess, the next one is known as a rook lift. A rook lift is when you bring the rook to help with the attack. You might know notice in this position we can get a battery with the queen and the bishop. Oh but you fucker. Rook lifts here All right. like this up and over. And rook lifts are very useful. Actually, if you've been watching Pog Champs recently, you know that Ludwig had a rook lift in his game that he could have used to his advantage to beat Moist Critical. But rook lifts are really kind of important details when you're trying to deliver attacks and bring more help. This next term, tactics, is going to be included in the video. Tactics are forcing sequences of moves, oftentimes used in puzzles that you can practice, that you can then incorporate in your games. Examples are forks, skewers, discovered attacks, and so on. I haven't included every single one in this video, but tactics big picture are how most chess games are decided. You I can't see what's... Those are tactics. You should know the tactical patterns, okay. and you should practice them on your own wherever you'd like. For our next two terms, I'm going to look at a Blitz game that I played yesterday on stream against the Grandmaster, the first of which is called Tempo. Tempo in chess is when you make improving moves... I'm in check. Win Fuck. Time against your opponent. So generally, they need to be creating threats. So in this position, I play the move Rook to G8. I'm in check again. Fuck. I develop my Rook with Tempo, and my opponent had to respond to my threat by moving. Generally, in this case, you would say Black got the better of this kind of exchange because I activated my Rook, and my opponent just had to respond to me and move out of the way. Mm -hmm. But I'm actually going to stay right here for this next term, which is Dynamic. Dynamic is a really abstract term for chess, but generally what it means is a position that's wacky, looks wacky, looks really non-traditional, there's all sorts of different piece interactions going on, and there's multiple ways for both sides to play that the computer can't even fully evaluate correctly. It, I know it's not a good spot. Very tactical, full of life, and probably both players have to be very... Move your castle up to cover the rook, they're the same thing. For the next part of the video, we are switching to something known as position... A rook is a castle. Play, ...which generally is a little bit more long-term, and features a bit more abstract of a concept, especially for beginners Bishop. and intermediate players. So having said that, our if I move the rook up to cover that closed position, the way I want you to think about closed and open positions, which we will get to in a mm. second, generally determined by the pawns. The pawns are like the fence of a position. And in this case, both players have eight of them. That means that the pawns are generally locked. The pawn breaks in the position become very crucial where you can offer a trade to open things up and maneuvering your pieces is going to be the most important part of this game. But having said that, open positions, well, you guessed it. Look at this. Half of the pawns have been traded. Am I in check again? I am in check pieces. again. And you've got to be really vigilant, especially with the bishop, the queens, and the rooks. The long-range pieces see down the board Fuck. better, so be careful, or you might blunder something. This next one is a bit more advanced of a term, but I'm still going to use it. It's called a blockade. A blockade in chess is... I fucking hate this. I hate this so much. ...for a pawn to completely shut down the movement of enemy pawns. Generally, blockades are only... <sighs> when you've blockaded sets of pawns. And this is a very useful maneuver, or situation, I should say, because once you move away, 
after you've stockpiled the pressure, you can win those pawns. And actually, this is straight from a game I played, not even yesterday, I played this earlier today, and I ended up super blockading both of the pawns, and then winning one, ultimately winning Am I in check game. again? So that's why blockades are super useful, even though they're pretty advanced. In chess, we can say that a position is complex, but actually, there's a different way to use the word complex, and you pronounce it differently as well. A complex is when you've set up your position in such a way that you control a certain set of squares. You'll notice that since I have six pawns on light squares, I have what's called a light squared complex, and I'm counteracting the light squared bishop that my opponent has. You can think of complexes in this way. If you trade your light squared bishop, but you still have a dark squared bishop, replace your light squared bishop with light squared pawns. But in general, if you have both bishops, you probably want a fair balance between the pawns. Another positional term is outpost. An outpost is a square, usually in your opponent's side of the board, that you control and they really can't control, especially with pawns, because a pawn would kick out your piece. But since you have such a firm grasp on this, even if the opponent were to trade, you can take and replace, and your knight can never be kicked out. The only thing that can kick it out is a rook or a queen. And as long as you protect it, your knight will exert pressure <laughs> oh my on God. this territory. And often the <laughs> will take it. All right. And by the way, this is also a blockade, and then you'll try to win the d6 pawn. This next term is super, super important, so pay attention. Hopefully you've been paying attention, but now really, really pay attention. This is called initiative. Initiative is a set of attacking moves where you create threats once, twice, three, four, five times. But in doing so, you don't overextend, you don't do anything insane, you just improve your position. We're actually going to take a look at a game that Garry Kasparov, one of the greatest players of all time, if not the greatest player of all time, played. In this position, Garry played the move knight to f5. If pawn takes, you take this. Garry's also threatening knight to e7. Black responded with rook e8. Garry mobilized the knight to d6, attacking the rook. When the rook came up, Garry played rook f4, threatening to transfer the rook over here, but also threatening the move e4, which attacks the bishop. Now the bishop has to go. When this came up here, this file opened up. Wait, why can't I? Wait, 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 why can't I take you? And Garry uses the knight. It's a bishop. I can attack diagonally. What is going on? And ultimately the queen as well to triple stack on this side. And he went on to win a very nice Excuse me? This example is the greatest example that I can give you of what an initiative is. I'll be checking my... In oh, games, you can look for two or three move initiatives. In this case, we see Gary Kasparov, well, fittingly, making like a seven move initiative and getting a dominant overwhelming advantage. For this next example, it's over. we go back a little bit more generally to what a trade or is. In chess, a trade is generally something of... Value. So you this sucks, dude. This sucks so bad. ...for a knight. But much harder to evaluate what kind of a trade is a good trade versus a bad trade. Why would, like, okay, if you're going to put a chess bot in the game, why would you make it play at this level? A light squared pawn complex, right? So trades in chess or exchanges in chess generally work like that. You can make pawn trades, queen trades, or a rook and a pawn for a bishop and a knight. That is a fair trade. That is 6-6, six, six, right, in terms of material account. But not all trades as you improve at the game you'll realize not all trades are the same always there's a winner and a loser and sometimes you get something good and sometimes you get something bad out of it i will in the future make a full video on how to evaluate whether a trade is good or not but at the time of recording this in february of 2021 that's not out yet this next term is called compensation you will i'm just using a, I'm, I'm using a bot i'm using a bot say things like that compensation is when one side is down material that could be a pawn, that could be two, or in this case, actually going back to- I'm, I'm, I'm just going to get through this. It's a knight. I am currently down a knight. I have one extra pawn. I have five. My opponent has four. But my compensation here for the knight is the fact that my opponent is very passive. Both of their rooks are out of the game. My bishop is preventing the king from castling in either direction. So I'm counterbalancing the fact or I'm compensating for the fact that I'm down material with intense activity and creation of threats. Having said that, compensation doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to win or anything. It just means that you're down, but you are offsetting that 
with activity or an opportunity to win despite that disadvantage. What? And our last term Why did that happen? is something known as pawn structure. Pawn structure in chess is the way your pawns are arranged. There are many, many terms summarizing this and many opening pawn structures that ultimately can appear on the board. In fact, I have a video on the subject where I could only fit in a few. But I am going to try to give you a few examples of pawn structure and help you understand what the heck pawn structure even means. So, here we go. This is an example of pawn structure. This is something known as the isolated pawn. It can arise from certain positions and certain openings. An isolated pawn should try to be blockaded by the opponent, but the benefit for the person that has it is the fact that there's more open lines around it. So you can set up around it and generally use it as a shield to generate attacks. The person who's playing against the isolated pawn, in this case, the person with black pieces, wants to trade more pieces. That way you mitigate and kind of cut out any attacks that are possible. And in all end games, that pawn's just gonna be a target. And the more pieces that are traded, the weaker it's gonna be. Here's an example from a different opening where one of the players has doubled pawns. That's another turn. Now you could also- Turn my bar. Oh, is it fucking on again? Jesus now, Christ, man. The way you learn about pawn structure is you can watch videos and generally you need to use the pawn structures that arise from your own openings in a way that helps you formulate better plans in the middle game, maybe formulate attacks, maybe go for more positional play. But I figured I would end this video with pawn structure because a lot of us could benefit from this turn. Wow. So that was a lot of information, and that doesn't even cover a ton of other words that I thought about including in this video. If you enjoy this kind of content, which doesn't really feature like a game or something like that and is much more general, let me know in the comments below some other ideas, and I will guarantee you that I'll put something out there for you. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. I've got tons of other playlists on openings, middle games, and a lot of the things that were actually covered in this video. All right, my friends. I'll see you in the next one. We're getting there. There we go. Oh, the nightmare is over. <laughs> okay. Wait. Did that count? All the pieces are back. Did that count? The board just reset itself. What, what did this open? Oh, there we go. I'm sorry I was so negative there, but that was playing at a level of chess that I was unprepared for. I had to get a bot for that. You had to get someone who's good at chess to play it for you? Yeah, it's... If you're putting a puzzle into your survival horror game, why would you make it play at that level?
Imagine if the piano puzzle in RE1 actually required reading sheet music and playing the right notes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is the chess puzzle in the original System Shock? I doubt it is, right? It's no. So there's just, there's some turbo nerd at night dive that was just like, mm, yes. <laughs> As he pushes up his glasses. I'll show those bullies that pushed me into a locker in high school. I'll put my chess skills to the use. <laughs> that, that, that's exactly what the devs at night dive sound like. That's the wrong gun. I'm too good at the voice. <laughs> well, you see, that's what I normally sound like. I just put this voice on for the stream. That's my natural speaking cadence. <laughs> I... I I'm so sorry. I got so mad I started roasting a dev that I just made up in my head because he put a fun chess game into his video game. I I'm so sorry, chess-loving night dive dev. I'm sure you thought it was really cool when you put that in. Making up a guy and getting mad at him, you know it. It just so happens to be something I excel at. This game demonstrates that you have the brawn, but do you have the brains? <laughs> Solve my chess puzzle, System Shock Hacker. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing. It just, it wasn't very readable. If it was like just a top down, like PC chess thing, it, that would have been a lot nicer. This was a case of style over function, absolutely. Try optimum moment. Oh. When you see. The reason the chess game is hard to look at is actually because of in law reasons. It has perfect verisimilitude with the in-game setting. The ang- yeah, the angle is rough. Like, if you have th see-through pieces... Did I press the switch I needed to? I don't remember. Not yet. <sighs> Did I miss it somehow?
It's further in you turned around. God damn it. Okay, genuine question. Are, are, in, are the groves to System Shock what Zen is to Half-Life? Yes, okay. Good. Zen on a timer, Jesus Christ. Beta Grove is the roughest part of this and the original. I have heard as well there is also a... Uh, at one point there is a radioactive maze full of infinite exploding drones. Which is also pretty rough from what I've heard. Hmm. What is in this room? Am I blind? Am I stupid? Not functional. I've already been where? The radioactive- wait. Oh, in the reactor? Huh. But there weren't any infinite drones there. Not yet. Oh, I have to go back. Okay, I see. Oh, I see you. I switched the ammo type. <sighs> I thought I'd switch to AP rounds. And there's one more grove before the beta grove, right? Ugh, I'm gonna do that next stream. I'm not gonna do that tonight. <laughs> I just thought about doing another grove and I just suddenly got very tired. <laughs> You know, you, you know when you just think about something and then you just go like, oh, and you get tired just thinking about it? That's me thinking about doing another grove. Engineering and security are more fun. I'm sure they are. I was just thinking about how far away we are from a healing bed and I got incredibly angry. The 
the closest healing bed to us is the reactor. All the way back there. Holy shit. That's so far away. I got exhausted just thinking about that. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna head back to the reactor. I'm not wasting healing supplies. I need those for Beta Grove. I'm not going to engineering. Not tonight. gonna get my assault rifle back. This is currently out of ammo. So I'll store you. All right, I think we're gonna take a break there because I am being very grouchy. <laughs> I like that you wager and die. Yeah, that's a nice touch. That is a nice touch. Okay, let's see. Who can we raid tonight? Who's streaming? Zed is playing like a dragon Gaiden. Let's just check where they are. Yeah, sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. It was no big deal. Arigato. Oh, Zed's already uh, Zed's already early on. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna raid Zed. We're gonna raid Zed. Zed's been sick lately. Been going through it. So we are gonna do something nice for Zed tonight. Thank you for the raid. Is that a Fwanky I spy? That is a Fwanky I spy. Hi, hello. 